Now the converse, of course, on how you would break this wedge back out and get it ready to use again next year is, for the sake of demonstration, we've got the same one I showed you guys putting the uh, foundation in. And we're just going to go along here again with our hive tool. Now this is buttoned up a little bit tighter. And you've got to imagine what you would have done first is you would have cut this wax out. So you would have had basically a clean frame but with your wedge nailed in, not just curved. But we're going to go along here with our hive tool. And this is why you want to use really, you know, relatively small brads when you put this stuff together because you've got to be able to pull this back apart. So you're just getting in real careful, prying. I'm going to work my way down along. Again, your hive tool works great for this. And at each brad, you guys aren't even focused. At each brad, I'm just going to come in real careful, and you can, you know, pry against the frame, or you can give it a little twisting motion, whatever. Again, just be careful not to break your wedge. Of course, you could always cut a new wedge if you got some scrap wood around. It's not that difficult to make this little wedge, but, you know, if you can retain it, no sense enough to cut a new one. So there we go. Pulled our wedge out, and you can see what actually happened is all of my brads remained stuck in the frame. They're all stuck. You know, here's one, here's one, here's one. But now, again, these brads are pretty tiny, pretty easy to pull. Grab your pair of pliers, grab the head of the brad. Now, I'm trying, you'll never be able to pull it straight out. You'll fight yourself to death. So grab it, and then just real simple, pull your pliers back, rock along the curve of the plier head. And there you go. Brad's out. So pull out all five brads, and I'll be ready to nail it back in. I'll actually show you how to do that right here. So there, I just saved you guys the grief for watching me pull nails. But these little brads, you know. They pull out super easy. They're pretty small. These are 5 8 by 18 gauge. Again, you could probably use a 3 quarter, um, or really the thickest you want to use as far as the, the total thickness of your top bar here. If it's maybe it's 7 8 total thickness, I'm not sure. But, you know, 5 8 will certainly work. You just want to be able to get, you know, penetration through the cross section of your wedge and then enough sinking into your actual uh, top bar. So, anyway, we've got them out. What you would do at that point was you would have a little strip of beeswax in here. And so then you can just take your hive tool real easy, scrape along in there along that edge, scrape along that edge, probably, you know, two or three strokes, you have it cleaned up real nice and clean so you've got a trough. And then we would just do the same thing. We take our same old strip, our beeswax starter strip, a new one, of course, um, and uh, nail it right back in place. So I'm going to nail this one, but I just showed you guys a video on how to nail that one. I'm not going to make you watch me nail it in again.